Welcome back to the channel, my pop cult loving community. I'm your humble host, Mr. Pop Cult. And today I've got a video that I have been dying to make, all right? Maybe you've seen it in the title, maybe you guessed it, but it's gonna be a big bad toy store review. I've got a haul of different action figures here. Most of them are gonna be from Diamond Select because I really enjoyed the way the packaging looked online. And a lot of them are also gonna be from Star Wars Black Series. If you've seen in my previous videos, I've already got a decent collection of those and I'm looking to grow my collection and hopefully with time have a complete set. So for this video, we're gonna be looking at figures that are actually gonna be going into my private collection. Unfortunately for right now, I'm not gonna be having any unboxing videos. Maybe in the future we'll have one figure for the unboxing, one to go into my private collection. But for right now, these figures are all going into my private collection. So I'm gonna be just reviewing mostly Big Bad Toy Store. At first I was a little skeptical. It's not a company I've ever shopped from. Just so you know, this is not a promotional video. These are figures that I actually just bought with my own money but I'm gonna be reviewing them for you. I bought some in premium packaging and the rest are just in standard packaging. That way you guys can see the difference between the two and if it's worth getting the premium packaging. So first of all guys, look at the size of this box. This is actually the smaller of the two. So I actually have a decent haul and I guess they had to package it in two separate boxes. This one being the smaller one. I really enjoy the tape on this. It's a nice touch. It's got the BBTS logo. They could have just used regular packaging tape, um, but they obviously are gonna market their brand. I'm not gonna be too nitpicky about the condition of the box itself, only because things happen in transit and that's not really BBTS's fault. The only thing I'm seeing here is a little nick in the box, but I don't see that compromising the integrity of the figures. Before even opening the box, let me tell you what's impressed me about BBTS, besides the packing tape the shipping rate. It's a $4 flat shipping rate and it got here in four days. I ordered on a Thursday and the package is already here on a Sunday. I love fast packaging, especially when it comes to action figures. I enjoy getting my collectibles on time and for $4, you can't beat it. All right guys, getting right into the box opening. If you are underage, please have adult supervision. If you are not, Please be careful. Do not try this at home. All those other disclaimers. All right, first things first, I'm loving the bubble wrap. For me, bubble wrap is safety, security, and I know that everything was very safe in here. It's a very thick kind. And let's see what is first. First we have this is gonna look terrible. All right, guys, we're gonna bring it back to the uh, throne of pop cult. I don't like that name. All right, guys, I was thinking maybe we could do a different angle since I was already reviewing the box, but let's just stick to what we know. Last thing before we get into which figures came in our haul, I think I'm gonna end up doing two separate videos because I ordered about 30 plus figures, guys, and I just don't want our video to be that long. So I'm gonna start with the premium packaged one so you guys can see what that looks like, and the rest are just gonna be shot in our normal style. Collector grade. That's what it was called. So it's not actually premium packaging, as I've been saying. It's what they call collector grade. So the figure that we got is the Black Series 6 inch Anakin Skywalker. I don't know if you guys will be able to read that, but I pre cut the tape here so that uh, we could skip all the safety briefings and get right into the unboxing of it. Um, this, guys, as a collector, already makes me smile because it came in a box separate from all the rest of the figures and the figure itself actually comes in a bag, almost like a plastic bag. Um, not like a shopping bag, but like a, uh, like a carrying, is this a bag? It's more like a plastic covering, guys, uh, that's taped around the box itself so that even my fingerprints aren't touching the box. This, for any collector, is a go-to. I highly recommend if you're trying to get figures that you don't want even touched by fingerprints to get it in collector grade. Now I believe to order in collector grade for this figure I paid six dollars, four dollars? Um, it varies between figures. So somewhere like three dollars, four dollars, up to six dollars I saw. Um, but it varies between the figures. This one I believe it was six dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm actually gonna link the website down in the description so you guys can check out the figures for yourself, obviously, and 
see what the prices are for that collector grade. In my personal opinion, I think it's absolutely worth it if you're wanting to get a figure in the most pristine, minty condition. So first out of the box, guys, we have Dryden Voss. He comes with his two signature daggers. It's played by Paul Bettany, who you might better know as Vision from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So this is our first figure, guys, and unfortunately we did find a nick here in the back. I hope this is not indicative of the figures that are to come from this haul. Next up, we have Han Solo from Solo A Star Wars Story. He is in his Mimban outfit. I just really love this outfit, guys, so I had to pick this figure up. Number 78, Han Solo. He comes with his full kit, and it looks like a removable mask. Here we have Vice Admiral Hodo from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Number 80, played by Laura Dern, who you might know better from the Jurassic Park series, actually. Next, we have a battle droid. Just a simple battle droid. I actually really enjoy this one though because he's battle damaged. So I thought that was a nice touch and a really cool detail. Comes with his antenna and a blaster. Here we have a rebel trooper from The Empire Strikes Back in his Hoth kit. I believe in the backpack he's carrying, there's a second face plate. So this figure actually comes with a removable face or changeable face. Let me just say guys, I really love the packaging for these figures. I believe this is the Galaxy release um, and I love the way that they're packaged with the artwork on the side. Here we have our phase one clone trooper. Next up is the armorer from the Mandalorian. Guys, if you haven't taken a look at the Mandalorian, please watch it. I highly recommend it. This figure comes with the tongs and the hammer. And just look at how beautiful the artwork is on the side, guys. I love this packaging. The last Black Series figure we have for this haul is the Incinerator Trooper from the Mandalorian. I just really like the look of this trooper with the white and red, and it comes with its flamethrower. As I said, guys, if you don't know about this figure, check out the Mandalorian. You'll really enjoy it. Moving on to the next franchise, this figure got lost on the path of life. The Copy Ninja, Kakashi Sensei. This figure is made by Anime Heroes and he comes with changeable hands and his signature lightning blade. Next up we have Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender. This figure is from Series 4 in the set and he comes with changeable hands, his boomerang, a couple of other accessories and an action stand. This figure is actually made by Diamond Select and I love the packaging. Here we have another great Diamond Select product. This is the only other figure in Series 4, Avatar Aang in Final Battle form. This one comes surrounded by the four elements, changeable hands, upgraded glider from Season 3, and an action stand. This one's a Diamond Select product as well. It's Kingdom Hearts 3, Toy Story Sora with Air Soldier, and Kingdom Keyblade. So I'm looking to get the whole set for this one because I really enjoy the way the packaging is. It's big and elegant. Now, if you know me, you'll know that the Kingdom Hearts franchise is one of my favorite video game franchises. So here we have Maleficent with Sora and the Shooting Star Keyblade. Now, these figures are specifically from Kingdom Hearts 3, which I will be doing a Let's Play for. The only thing I found on this box was a little nick here at the top. It's almost like the box is crushed in just a little bit. Uh, obviously, I'm a collector, so I'm going to notice small details like that, but no biggie. That's going to wrap up this video, my pop cult crew. As I said, I'm going to do a separate video. The other box is definitely bigger, so it's going to have more figures in it. I know I showed a couple from each franchise in this one, but I'm definitely looking for one specific figure that I know I talked about in my previous video, so I'm assuming it's in that box. Please be in that box. But all in all, my brothers, oh, my little brothers. But all in all, guys, I'm super pleased with my purchase thus far. Nothing much to complain about in this box. Uh, besides just one or two little nicks that I found. But like I said, it's an honest review, so we'll see what happens in the next one. But for this one, Big Bad Toy Story gets two thumbs up from me. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit that subscribe button and become a part of our pop cult community. And if you understood the pop cult reference for this video, comment down below. First person to guess it right, I'll pin you in the comment section. Feel free to hit the like button and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified when part two of this video comes out and for future Mr. Pop Cult videos. It's a free way to show you care. See you soon, pop culture.